All right, welcome everyone. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing uh, scene transitions. And so to do that, um, to get started at least, we're gonna make a main world. So this will be our uh, main one essentially. Um, the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a, uh, oops, what's it called? Canvas layer. This will be our scene transition. So this is, we're gonna call this stage manager. It's going to manage the stages that we're moving from basically um in this one we're going to main uh call it main um and main what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a super fast simple platformer um so to do that i'm going to add a body character um in that character i'm going to add a little sprite that'll be this guy uh so let's center that let's go here center it uh we'll make it little smaller though. There we go. And then let's add a collision. Let's add a uh, box. There we go. And then let's just move this guy into here. And then we're gonna add a static body. Oh, static body. And I'm gonna duplicate this, go over here. Make it unique and then move it right there. And I'm gonna to go to the editor or the debug. I'm gonna make the collisions uh, visible. And in our character 2D, I'm gonna name this layer. And I'm just gonna add a script real quick and I'm gonna have this template and create. And now our game should work. So I'm gonna select current, so main. And now we have a super simple platformer. So now we have a player that moves with a ground. And now I'm going to add a area 2D. This will be our door. I'm gonna name it door. Uh, let's duplicate that, go here. Let's uh, make this unique as well and move it. And I'm gonna make it on the right side. And that'll be our door essentially. Sorry about that. Okay, um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually duplicate main and we're gonna call it main two. And now in stage manager, we're gonna add a script. Uh, we're gonna make it not built in, just default, um, create. And we're gonna not do anything yet. We're gonna go into the 2D scene. And in our project settings, we're gonna go to auto load and we're gonna actually auto load this, this scene itself. Not the script, but the scene itself. And I'll show you why I do that in a second. So the stage manager, the name, and we're gonna add that and that'll be the name, that's fine. And let's rename the canvas layer. And so now in here, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a simple canvas, uh, no, not modulate, uh, color rect, there we go. You can add like a panel as well, it doesn't really matter. Just something to color over the screen. Um, and then here, we're gonna add a animation layer. There it is. And then we're going to add a label, label. Um, and then in here, I'm just gonna type in loading, dot, dot, dot. Uh, I'm gonna scale it though, go to texture. Nope, not texture, sorry. Ooh, where is it? Uh, I don't know, whatever. I'm just gonna move it to the middle. That's fine. Let's center it. Uh, and if I play, nothing's gonna happen yet. Um, so in our stage manager, what we're going to do is we're gonna explore a very simple way to actually change uh, scripts or scenes right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make, we're gonna save all the scenes inside of this script essentially, or this scene, right? So we're gonna have, we're gonna preload our main and then we're also gonna preload um, main two. So we're gonna preload main two and then we're gonna do a very uh, function stage we'll do change stage we'll do stage stage like that and then we'll do stage path in there and then we're not going to actually use that yet but we'll actually yes we will um the first thing we're going to do this is a very simple one um we're going to do get tree dot change scene to file um stage um, for this one, we can't actually preload it. We're gonna have to actually have it like that. So we're gonna leave it like this. And now what we should be able to do is in our main, um, in here, we're gonna add a script, built-in script. 
um, and the door. We're going to go in here. We're going to do body entered. Ooh, not there. Uh, we're going to do a body entered into the door itself. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to delete door me two again. And in door two, uh, or in door one, this one, uh, we're going to do, I'm going to say if body dot player, or sorry, dot name equals player. So we're going to check if it's the player. We're going to say stage, stage manager dot change stage to main. Uh, but to call main, I have to say stage manager dot main. Because in order to call the main, we can actually call stage manager dot main, right? And that'll allow us to call that one. Um, and now what we can do, uh, we're going to duplicate this again and main two, and let's go to main two. Let's actually add a label into this room. And we'll say room uh, one. Room one in this one, and then in main two, let's open this up. Let's add a label. And then we'll have room two. And then let's change the door to this side. And then what we'll do is we'll add the player right there. So that's where we want the player to come out, right? So that's how we move the player essentially. So let's play. And that's not right. Ah, okay. Let's uh, make this invisible for now and this. And let's go here and play. I'll explain why that happened in a second. But now, when this happens, uh, that didn't work. <laughs> why? Because I'm going to main again. I want to go to main two. Uh, oh, take off insert. Okay, let's try one more time. Let's just save this, and this should work. Okay, I have to reload apparently. And boom, there. Now we are in room two. Um, now what we can do is we can go to this guy, go to built-in script. Uh, we're gonna go into here, body entered, and I'm just gonna copy over this line in the in this guy, and then we're gonna have go to main one. So now I should be able to move between the two rooms. However, you might notice the issue. Um, the issue is when I go to back to room one, I'm not here next to the door, I, I'm spawning in a different position. That different position is where this player is, right? Um, we'll explore next video how to fix that. But for now, let's actually set it up properly. And to do that, we have to understand how changing scenes actually works. So we're going to actually manually do that. And in fact, Godot has documentation that does this, but we're going to do it together. Um, so the first thing we actually do is we're going to have um, trans we're gonna create animations for this to make it look fancy as well. So we're gonna have trans in and trans out. So trans in, what we're gonna do, uh, let's make these transitions two seconds long for both of them. So trans in, uh, what we'll do is we're going to take the color rectangle. We're gonna to go to visibility. We're gonna to go to modulate. We're gonna make it completely invisible. I'm gonna key it. We're going to do that at one second. We're going to have this. So now transition in, we'll do this. Uh, I'm going to drag this to a two seconds, actually. So transition in will take two seconds. Um, actually, we'll do 1.5. So that way, we have a point where it's doing that. Then we're going to do the same thing with the label. So let's go to the label. Um, visibility. Uh, yeah, we'll key that there. And then go back to the label. Modulate. Make it invisible. Oops, I didn't want to do that actually. I want to move that there. And then here, go to the label one more time and key this, awesome. Um, and then for transition out, we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to go from modulate this, a rectangle as well. And we're going to go to 1.5 and we're going to make it invisible. Key, there we go. And then the label as well, so modulate. Make it invisible. And so now when we transition out, it's, it'll look like this, right? Um, let's actually center this a bit more. So let's actually, let's just do this. There we go. I got a little sniffles loading. Uh, let's see if I can make this bigger, actually. Where is it? Layout, should be layout. Here we go. Scale three. Okay, let's make it a little smaller. There we go. Okay, one last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually 
add a few kinks. Okay, before we actually manually change the scene, let's add the animation. So um, we change Sage. Uh, the first thing we have to do is get node um, animation player dot play uh, trans in. And what we can do now is uh, two, two, two. I'm going to copy this code. Um, we can use a wait. So we're going to say, I'm actually going to change the name of this. I'm going to name it anim, just like my reference. We're going to get the animation and we're going to wait for it. Once it's done, then we can change uh, the next scene. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to just copy this over. I'm going to actually copy both of these over. And for this one, we're going to do trans out, right? So now we're going to transition out and then we're going to await again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually hide the color rectangle in the end. Um, the reason is because let me actually do this as well. So we're going to actually create a function that says, uh, ready. we're going to, we're going to hide both of these, uh, because what's happening and we're doing this intentionally is that this is a canvas layer, meaning we're going to be painting on top of everything because we preloaded the scene. So when I play the scene is here, it, we've painted on top of everything, but it doesn't show anymore because we hide it. Um, one of the reasons you actually want to hide it and not modulate it is because if you modulate it, it's invisible, but you actually can't click anything anymore. So you can try to click things, but it won't work. So if you have it buttons, you can't click it. So it, uh, that's a bug to avoid that you don't want to do. Um, so when we change scenes, we'll show it and then our animation will modulate it and we'll, we'll wait and we'll change scenes. So let's actually separate that a little bit and then we'll transition out. We'll wait and then we'll hide it again. And I think that should be it. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that should be it. Okay. Awesome. So now uh, everything should be working. Let's try one more time. Let's change the next scene. It'll say loading and it'll load us in and we can play. Awesome. Now let's uh, manually do this. So in order to do that, let's explain a little bit how it works. So the way Godot changes the scene is it takes this scene, the main, deletes it and just adds the next scene. So let's do that. Um, this is actually really easy. Um, in order to do that though, we're gonna have to preload these scenes now. We're, we're not gonna be using uh, change scene, right? So we're gonna make it ourselves. So what we're gonna do is, we since we preloaded all the scenes, we're going to make that scene. So we're gonna say variable stage equals stage path dot, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna copy this part over because it's not complaining for me. Instantiate, there we go. And then this one's a bit iffy. Um, this one, you have to double check you're doing it right. So we're gonna get the child of the main. So this one depends on how you wanna do it. You can get, the, get it by name, you can get it by child, but essentially what we're doing is we're taking this guy, the main, and we're deleting it, we're freeing it. And then we're gonna add our new stage, which is the new one that we're gonna add, so stage. And there is a reason why we're doing this, but uh, we'll get to that next video. So now this should work the exact same. So now uh, let's go to the remote to see this happen live. So now we go to main two and it should delete this. And it should change. Oh, it won't change because I didn't change the name of it. So it's, it looks the same. Okay, let's try one more time. Remote. and reload, it'll delete this and add the second one, which was main two. Awesome, so now we have manually changed the scene. Um, and we've done this by adding children essentially. And there is a reason why we do this and we'll come to that next video. Um, so subscribe if you wanna see that, um, tune in. I'll probably upload it tomorrow um, or record it tomorrow. So yeah, uh, definitely check that out. Let's delete that, we don't need that. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next time, bye-bye.